Hello Pisces, today I'm going to go ahead and do your t weekly tarot reading for April 20th through the 26th and we're going to pull an oracle card. These are cosmic cards from the Maya's realm and they're kind of like meditation or writing prompts. <clears throat> Every one in three trillion cells in your body is working to keep you healthy and alive. So that's something to give you a little bit of perspective and uh, maybe help you honor your body a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and do a five card spread with the Osho Zen Tarot to see what we'll be facing for you, Pisces, April 20th through the 26th. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, your issue this week um, will be will, will be innocence. So perhaps you need to return back to innocence and have a little bit of play with um, life and realize that uh, it's all, I mean, he's old. So in the end, all we have is now. Um, and then what the interior unknown influence is for you, perhaps you're having some kind of like, <clears throat> this isn't saying you have your schizophrenic, but it's, it is speaking of like splitting your personalities and it causing a little bit of, uh, a divide for in between yourself. Like you're, you're stretching yourself thin between two types of people, um, kind of like, you know, your shadow self and your light self. Some people shun the shadow self and it like comes back fighting. So like when you think of yourself as a separate, a separate person instead of a whole person, it does tend to feel like, you know, like when you wake up in the morning and you're really, really angry and then later on in the day, you, you're more relaxed, but you absolutely can't remember the morning like you feel like you just kind of like blacked out that's because like you you turn into a whole different person because you're like splitting yourself off um so your exterior known influence is exhaustion perhaps you're working yourself a little bit too hard or you're just exhausted with your situation um perhaps there's just an exhausting energy around you in general uh in your like home or work if you are an essential worker um <clears throat> and then what's needed for a solution uh to go dive deep and remember that you need to master your mind the mind doesn't make a very good master at all it's um it's a good tool but it, in the form of a master it it doesn't do us any service at all uh there's a lot of self sabotage and illusion when our mind takes over power. And then um, for your solution and understanding by the end of the week, um, you might realize that clinging to the past, it's just, it's keeping you from seeing all of the, gl the glamour and the, the beauty and all of that, the shiny in the, in now, because you're stuck in all of this old nostalgic, dirty old box, um, and not realizing what's actually in front of you. And it's just, it, so by the end of the week, either you're going to have maybe perhaps a struggle, but I, this is in the understanding position. So I really feel like you're going to let go of that. And this is a water card. It's five, so it means change. So I feel like this situation is definitely going to change by the end of the week. You're no longer going to be clinging to the past. And you're probably going to feel a lot less exhausted. Um, and this split personality thing, it, it, it'll become a lot easier when you, when you master the mind a little bit more. And... Don't forget to, t like, obviously the issue for this week, the focus is when you live life in the form of an innocent and just play, 
I mean, honestly, none of these cards would even be here in that in that case. So, yeah, just don't be afraid to ask for help too, if you're exhausted. Number nine, individual. You're not you're not all the way all the ways alone. And if you need advice on how to master this kind of situation, um, either meditate or ask a friend. But obviously we, we, we have this situation here where you realize that clinging to the past is probably what's causing a lot of this clutter and keeping you away from living in, a, you know, in an innocent, happy, enjoyable place. Um, and then let me see, let me do a five card spread for you with my shadow scapes and see what else we have in store for you this week. Pisces, Pisces, April 20th through the 26th. Okay, current situation, Queen of Swords. Someone's really in their in their power. They're able to cut through any lies. Um, they're able to um, focus and um, perhaps you're studying too. You could be learning something or teaching. You could be teaching. That's another thing. Um, let's see. Yeah, also, you, there's a lot of thought here, like you're an intellect in this moment right now, because this is the right now. And uh, being the queen of swords, you're very discerning, and um, but you, you do maintain boundaries, so. Um, that's kind of the we might need to get a little bit more innocent in the moment because sometimes she can be a little bit standoffish. So let's see what your recent past was. Four of Swords. You took some time. You took a... Actually, you had like a long recovery. Some kind of long recovery. It took you a long time to reflect and see what's really important to you see what all got you here, what all didn't did work, what all didn't work. Lots of just resting and uh, introspection too. So that was in your recent past. And so for your abilities this week, we have the judgment in reverse. So perhaps you have a decision that you're not, you're kind of pushing off, um, but since it's in the abilities position, I feel like hmm, you mm, try not to be over overly critical because you have this really strong energy right here and you just came out of a long recovery. You're kind of clinging to the past a little bit with this long recovery and you feel a little bit split and exhausted and stuff so you're you're holding putting up this like barrier where you're just not taking any crap but it is a good thing right now because you do need to protect yourself now is the time to definitely protect yourself but with the judgment card in reverse try not to be too overly critical this might be like a guide to tell you um hey it's very good to stand in this power, but don't be too overly critical or judgmental of other people. And then for your love, passion, interest, you have the hermit. So you might be taking time to dig deep and reflect, um, evaluate yourself in a sense and see what, what is, you know, um, let me see. I haven't pulled him for a very long time for some reason. Yeah, wisdom, inner wisdom, you're going to see, you might be taking some time to be on your own and um, see what you want out of life, what you want maybe in, in a partner or in a career or whatever, wherever your love, passion, interest is. And then by the, ooh, <laughs> so you're in your, um, Outcome for this week, we have the High Priestess, which is a very, very good card, of course. Inner knowledge, intuition, um, 
duality or, or polarity, however you like to see it. Um, the apple of you know, wisdom, um, just being able to see through and guide yourself. And that really comes from being able to take the moment to reflect in that hermit while carrying this innocence with you because you're all ve you're very, very serious this week at last maybe last week into this week you're very, very serious, so we need to really get some innocence thrown in there because you're cl possibly clinging to the past but by the end of the week you're going to let go of the past because of the high priestess your inner tu tuition is telling you that didn't that didn't serve you anyway or what you know whatever whatever's gone is gone and this split will this split personality will drop off you'll no longer feel so exhausted because you're just going to be like she's just risen she's arisen with self-awareness and everything like that you took a lot of time to rest and I feel like maybe that's why um you're like mastering your mind came into play in the last spread because I think you're already like halfway through that because you're mastering it pretty well with the queen of swords but try not to be too because when when we start judging people this this you know judging people too harshly that's when we split off because it's our heart and you know so let me pull a medicine card for you some guidance for pisces for the week of april 20th through the 26th for pisces please cow so this is one of my personal shields um this goes in with innocence and not being too judgmental so cow is a very, very loving bovine creature. I kind of think of it as like the American elephant. <laughs> um, very like family loving, um, just kind of like free flowing, living in the moment. Um, peaceful, graceful, stuff like that. So with all of this seriousness going on, this introspection, the hermit, the master, the queen of swords, all of this seriousness, that long recovery you just went through, I think you really need to hang on to the judgment in reverse. Don't be too judgmental. Really have a bit of play with life. Return to innocence. Sell your n knowing everything for bewilderment and enjoy some life some life pleasantries like so, so cow is kind of like uh they enjoy their all their senses they enjoy smells they enjoy looking at things they enjoy feeling things on their skin so and take time to enjoy the now and then really ta with all of this introspection going on you're really going to tap in with your high priestess and begin to let go of the past and the exhaustion and the split split will just really drop off all right, I hope that helped for you, Pisces, and I hope you have a great week. Thank you.